ovarian cancer is the second most lethal gynecological cancer, responsible for over 14,000 deaths in the U.S. alone. Because there is currently no viable early detection screening for ovarian cancer, most cases are discovered in later stages, when the tumor is much harder to treat. Dr. Yang Yang at the Yale School of Medicine wanted to investigate a popular theory on how epithelial ovarian cancer, the most common and most aggressive type of ovarian cancer, may begin outside of the ovaries. There's a new theory in the field, it's called tube theory. So a lot of pathological evidence showing it's possible uh, um, a big part of ovarian cancer are from uh, fallopian tube. So these cells travel from fallopian tube and two hours, and I formed tumor. Dr. Yang also wanted to explore another theory supported by numerous studies, indicating increased ovulation, or expulsion of eggs from the ovaries, can increase the chances of developing ovarian cancer. For her experiment, Dr. Yang injected mice with cancer-initiating cells, stained with the red fluorescent protein M-cherry, to track the movement of the cells. The mice were injected with the cancer-initiating cells in the peritoneal cavity, below the fallopian tubes. While all mice developed tumors, 15 out of the 39 mice injected with the cancer-initiating cells developed tumors in the ovaries. To test if increased ovulation increased the chance of developing ovarian cancer, Dr. Young injected 24 more mice with M-cherry cancer-initiating cells and induced superovulation through hormone injections. These hormone injections increased the rate at which eggs were being expelled from the ovaries. All 24 mice that experienced superovulation developed tumors in their ovaries. Her conclusion is uh, supporting the uh, theory ovulation, um, increased ovulation can uh, have a, a, a positive role like promoting uh, ovarian cancer initiation. The results also support the theory that epithelial ovarian cancer originates outside of the ovaries. This lays the fundamental groundwork for potential early detection methods, which could save thousands of lives. Thanks for watching.